Well, looks like I'll start on this a little bit by myself. And I'll pull this uh, PTO drive shaft, whatever you want to call it, main shaft. Uh, it looks like box end wrench like that is the best way to get her because it's kind of three bolts there, kind of tucked up in there. I also did put the new boot on the shifter just to kill some time. It's pretty simple. You'll see how to do it when you have to do it. So, I'm going to take these three bolts out. I think I'm going to pull the shaft all the way out. Nothing should fly out, fall apart. If it does, uh, I guess this is the end of the videos. Okay. See you later. Well, we got the uh, main shaft out. Not too bad, not too bad, but look at here. Pretty sure those are the two outside seals off the hydraulic pump. They happened to come with the shaft, which was great. They didn't get hung up and slide off the end. The front spleen looks good. Sometimes they get wore, I guess. Of course, the center spleen looks good. Again, 9 sixteenths. The box end didn't work very long because you can't get the wrench off if you back the bolts out. So you kind of got to use an open 9 16 and then a pry bar I use just to kind of make the first pop out. So now I guess we'll move up and see what happens with that little gear shift uh, removal. Okay, see ya. So I took the bolt, bolts loose, took the back one out, and as you can see, the plate is under there. If I take this bolt out, it should slide right around. Apparently it's captured, or the spring is sitting on the little plate, so the springs should come right up. When I take this bolt out and swing this one around, if I don't drop anything or I got the, the shifter in neutral I think it's low range neutral uh, we'll see what happens here in a few minutes so okay second bolt is out plates pushed all the way in like it's supposed to so all I gotta do is lift straight up with the shifter and the little plate and it should be out of there without any problem. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, I got it out. Did not lose the spring, but the spring did fall out. It just happened to lay right in there on the shaft, so I got it out with my magnet. The problem was I was sliding the the thing in like this and look at there doesn't get that other spring you have to slide it in from the rear like this so they probably said so in the book but I didn't do that so you slide it in like this and then you won't do what I did. But we dodged the bullet. I could have just pretended like it didn't happen, but nobody learns from that, so I was super, super lucky that I didn't lose the spring. So, we're going to take a little break and take a nerve pill and keep moving on. Okay. So after that new disaster with the stupid little spring tool, I modified my spring tool because uh, now it'll slide right up in there plenty far and grab the springs. The springs are about, I think, right here and here. Before, with the full tool, see, you get it up in here and it... You can't get it up, but you know, it'll catch the springs. Again, there's the spring, there's the spring. 
you just got to get that far. But uh, I whacked off about a quarter inch and cut that angle there. So the tool will get way up in there. And, like I say, don't need to do that, but if I ever do this again, I'm going to put the tool in this way. Plenty of grab on the strings that are there. So, okay. I just thought I'd show you that. Show you my near blunder. Okay. I'm going to sit down and relax a while. I'm still a little shook up about that spring escaping, but we'll be fine. See ya.